Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today, we are continuing our series on depression. Now, if you notice, the tree that you're looking at has no decorations on it. This is one of the visuals of a depressed person. When you are depressed, you feel empty. You have nothing going on to give out or on you. Let's recap our series of depression. Number one, God's remedy for depression. Get up and eat for the journey is too much for you. So you must get up, get going, eat so that you can take care of your physical needs. Number two, God's remedy for depression. Tell God your frustrations. Tell God your frustrations. Let everything out. God will let you vent and he will hear you. Number three, God's remedy for depression. Pursue a fresh awareness of God's presence in your life. Get still with God. Let him pass by you. Get your Bible, meditate, and get in the Lord. Today we cover number four. God's remedy for depression. 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 15. The Lord said to him, Go back the way you came and go to the desert of Damascus. Let God give you new direction. Now the tree that you're looking at may be stripped down. There's nothing on it. A look of depression. But it's also a sign of a new direction, a fresh start. So we can look at it two ways. Depression, there's nothing on it, no lights, no ornaments, no color. But now we can look at it as let God give you new direction, a fresh start. God told Elijah to go to the desert of Damascus and anoint a new king and also a new prophet to take his place. In other words, he gave Elijah a new assignment. Try to avoid spending too much time focused on self-pity. Get your eyes off yourself and start looking at the needs of others. Try to get involved in their lives through a ministry where you're giving out and God is giving through you. If you are constantly looking at yourself, you will get discouraged. Do not be interested only in your own life, but be interested in the lives of others. You say, but I failed badly and disappointed myself. Surely God must be disappointed with me too. Disappointment only happens when someone expects you to do something different from what you do. Jesus knew Peter would deny him, but he called him anyway. Why? Because he knew Peter would learn and grow through the experience and go on to even greater things. God wants to give you a new purpose and a new direction. He is not finished with you. God is not finished with you. Maybe you blew it. Big deal. If you let him, God will pick you up and help you to start over. One mistake or 100 doesn't render you useless for life. Today, God wants to lift you out of your depression. God can help you. He can change you. You don't have to go through life being manipulated by your emotions. Your emotions can be affected by your thoughts. And with God's help, you can change how you think and what you think about. Let God give you new direction. God wants to give you a new purpose and a new direction. God is not finished with you. All right. Leave me your feedback. We're covering this series on depression. We have one more series to go. There was five parts. I encourage you to watch the other parts. Be blessed. God is not through with you. Do not be discouraged. Big deal. You messed up. So what? God is not through with you. Let God 
give you a new direction. Be blessed and I love you.